Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. Warm wind. Now that isn't 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Bond Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Forget something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favor. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much did the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Two hundred. Okay. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Oh, fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. Be. What for? Now! What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Get in the car. Hey, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. So I can go now, right? You stay right where you are. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money, my family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You done now? Get in the house. Have we checked your gear? Just wanna make sure I look the part. And I wanna make sure we have the part. Check your gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. 
This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? I guess we'd have had headaches like you. Hold oh, still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yep, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Well, don't push your luck. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut? Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. 
Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds. This marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is for its time. Just Thank try to keep it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the bowl there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bid. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, ma'am. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine 9-5, five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. Again, thank time. you, madam. Do you have a eleven? It's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven. Okay. So because you know price we have eleven five. logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid, bid are less than at eleven, madam. Well, it's eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bit at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, madam. 12.5. Are we all out? At 12.5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 
12 five once, 12 five twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out of here. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Doors closing. Hello, me. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not gonna believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this 085209, okay? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. I did not expect this to go that smoothly. <sighs> I 
have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Well, thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't, though. We have it. Thank fuck for that. Let's just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop it. Oh, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! <laughs> Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? We're going to take this bowl to Woos to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Uh, what do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Oh, look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go.
Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Follow me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eaten? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, is Mr. Wu here? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? It says, man who trusts in fortune cookie doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Wise guy. Yeah, exactly right. Follow me, please. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Adam, turn by your way. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness. It is also suicide. To the Choi family, Possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atam, go on, Cordy, Tofoy. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great.
misfortune that becomes a lie. Don't start getting superstitious, darling. That's all we need. For fuck's sake, what's superstitious about the truth? Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. <sighs> you fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. One double room, please. Name? Smith. Smith. Really? I panicked. Turn the on. Do you believe, Wu? They knew nothing about the job. They looked convincing, didn't they? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. <sighs> not adding much to this conversation, May. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. end up on here. Don't ask me. You're the master of percentages. It's believed despite the extent of the robbery which resulted in the hospitalization of Shit. <sighs> one item was stolen from the That's auction. us. A Chinese porcelain bowl which had just been auctioned for the reported value of 10 million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle, its I think the choice will believe the ball's history. He'll try the worst. I am deep. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How very compassionate of him. This bastards. robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at. Fucking hell. <sighs> Wu was right about the choice. That's for fucking sure. This doesn't make any sense. May, we got him killed by taking it there. And where next? We need to get out of the city. Yeah. Yeah, I agree 100%. Are you crazy? Having that is going to get us killed. 
But we're not having it is what got Wu killed. Hello? Mr. Smith? Yep? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? There's someone downstairs. They're coming. Matt, give me the ball. Papa, bring the one here. Trust me, please. Don't bring the one. Why? 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 I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it was a fake. I'm uh, sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was like you, just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry, am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bowl? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit. Where's the original now? I don't know. I can see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if he could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh, my God. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's going to regret this. 
I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. Shit. Brilliant. They won't touch us. They won't touch you, you mean? We don't really have much choice. Yeah, well, my father's told me one thing. It's in a situation like this, you're best off smacking the biggest guy right in the face before he does. Come on. You didn't believe that. Hey, you. Fuck off. Keep your hands off me. Smug boy looking for a fight. I told you to fuck off, yeah? What big don't you understand? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get it off! Oh, it's not over. worth it, it's not worth it, it's over. Fucking pricks! Yeah, where the hell are you? Turn the ball, or the girl dies. Who the fuck is this? Bring you to the lobby of our hotel by 9 tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. No police. Or the girl dies. No, listen, just, just wait. Fuck. No choice. Leave her to die. How could I live with that? No. She says Pa's fucked us. So let's pay this guy a visit. Good morning. Have an appointment with Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he has Thank you. Well, uh, I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. We can discuss this sensibly or not. 
I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the ball? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. I'm not leaving here without that fucking ball. I don't know where it is. I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm not fucking joking here. I will fuck up everything. I need that ball. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Oh, to hell with you! Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking ball! Stop in the name of God. It's here, the bowl is here. Show it to me. It's in the safe. I collected the chest last night. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. Seven, nine, nineteen, zero, one. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. <laughs> Ball. You have it. Where? You're dying, but the girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it! Where? Fuck you. Shoot Alice. Eventually. <laughs> 